Hi baddies and welcome to today's video. I have my little cup of coffee so that I can get high off caffeine and purge this entire room. So I don't know if this is going to take me a week, two days, or a month. But we're gonna be in this together. What I do know is I already cleaned out my makeup drawer, which such a help. Let me just start off by saying I am so blessed. I'm so blessed to have all of these things. I'm so blessed. And I know and I understand that it is a luxury. That's not even a disclaimer. That's just factual. And I just wanted to say that. But you guys, I can't fit paper in my drawers. I'm gonna show you what they look like before. But my issue right now is that nothing is enjoyable. Getting ready is not enjoyable because I can't even fit my hand in my drawer. I don't know what I own. I can't see the things I own. I only have this little closet and the rest is all bins under my bed and then I have a dresser over here. And like for example, before I cleaned out my makeup drawer, I would do my makeup and there would be shit everywhere because I had to take everything out of my drawer to be able to see what I had and find what I needed. But now I just have exactly what I need in the two drawers and then all my extra stuff underneath so that's great my hair stuff catastrophe i have a little cabinet that's miscellaneous there's just everything you could imagine in there so that's going to be scary but i think we are going to start off with the clothes my goal here is to get rid of literally everything and anything that i do not wear i want to be a minimalist so bad so that's our goal here let's get into it together i did do my skincare draw and it's already just overflowing all right guys so i have four huge garbage bags I think I'm gonna start off easy with the pajamas. So all my clothes are in bins like so. I don't need this many pajamas guys. I wear the same four, five, six pairs of pajamas every day. So let's get rid of half of this. These are a keep, 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 keep. This is my issue. I'm keeping everything. <laughs> I'll go through the keeps again. Like I'm gonna do a keep and let go pile and then get rid of the keeps because I have issues. Like I need to get rid of, these are from like literally from when my sister was a teenager. Like I just don't need this many t-shirts. I don't guys. There's one thing in the get rid pile. This is terrifying. This is scary. I'm so scared. Oh my God, I'm so scared. This is actually pathetic. I don't wear any of this. <gasps> Who remembers this video where Paul thrifted me this shirt? Oh! But I'm getting rid of it. I'll give it to Molly. She'll like that one. Where's Molly's bag? I can do this. I can get rid of things. I got this. I can get rid of things. I know it. Everything just like Paul thrifted me this shirt. I don't want to get rid of it. Do I need this? Of course not. But like he thought of me and he thrifted this and I don't want to get rid of it. I'm going to do like a maybe pile and then go through the maybes. Paul made me this. <laughs> these are so cute and I know I will find a time to wear these. I think one of these might be Britney's actually. These are going to Molly. I don't have room. So congrats, Molly. Wait, Molly's over here. I feel like you guys have seen me in this shirt a million times and it's iconic and I'm not getting rid of it because I love her. Okay, guys, I let my keeps up. Wow. I want to get evaluated for dyslexia because I really, truly do feel like I have that. Let's be real. The only reason I'm doing a closet clean out is so that I can make room for more. I have a big haul for everybody. Let's get into it. Everything I'm going to be showing you is from White Fox. And exciting news, you can use code BROKE for 30% off site-wide for the duration of White Fox Black Friday sale starting November 20th at 11 p.m. AEDT, ending November 30th at 11.59 p.m. AEDT. So make sure you hop on during that time frame because my code is usually 15% off, but during that time, it will be 30. White Fox offers afterpay to all US, New Zealand, and Australian customers. They also offer express worldwide shipping, which is a game changer. So let's start off with this amazing set. I know you're dying to see it. I know. I feel so amazing in this pink right now. I was wearing a different apple before and I changed into this and I'm like, oh my God, my life and my day is better now. It's just bright colors. They just do something to you, you know? So we have this hoodie. It says White Fox Season and it's really cool the way that they did this. It's like almost as if the fabric was lifted. It doesn't look like there was anything added onto it. I really, really, really like this. And then it says White Fox upside down. I love the simplicity of it. I love that it's a bright color but the logo is very muted you know i'm wearing this in a size small medium and then i'm wearing these pants in a size medium i'm typically a size small but i really like to size up in joggers just because i have a thing about waistbands i really don't like when they're too tight on me we have the same exact logo on the pants while i'm falling we have the same logo on the pants right here they cinch at the bottom they got a drawstring here we got some good size pockets up in here 
and I all around just love this little set. Since it is the fall time and we're going to be going into the winter pretty soon, I made sure to stack up on some sweat sets. So I'm going to show you those first because who doesn't love a good matching set? You're comfy, you feel like you're in pajamas, but all of a sudden you're cohesive, you're cute, you're trendy. It's plain and simple, that easy. So this sweat set has a bit of a different fit. I always loved these because I feel like they're a little bit more fitted. It honestly just depends on the day on what I feel like wearing. I love this color. There's a really nice saying that I absolutely love on here and I love how minimal it is on the pants and the hoodie. Okay, I'm going to be so honest with you guys right now. I was going to give this set to my mom because she's been asking me for one forever. I don't know if I can give it up. Wait until you see the design on the back. <gasps> love this. I will give it to my mom because she does deserve it out of anyone I would say. But I want it. Maybe I'll wear it like once and then give it to her. It says white fox on the front and then it says leisure on the pants. This is the softest most comfortable set I've put on. Oh my god. This color. I don't have anything in this color. I feel like purple isn't something I really buy. This is in a size small medium. Now all of their hoodies kind of run oversized. If you want an oversized you don't really have to size up that much. Okay this will be the last of the sweats I promise, but come on, don't tell me you don't want to see a full haul of just sweats. So this is really simple, cute, easy, muted in the front, right? Yeah, simple. Hi back. Hi. How dope. I love this logo. Slay, slay, slay. We have the same exact logo on the pants. I like this nice gray color. I know that Paul is going to steal this one for me for sure. He loves their sweats. Like, he actually wears them all the time. I gotta hide this one in my drawers from him. So comfortable. So cute. I am set for the whole entire winter. Guys, this is so pretty. I've been eyeing her for a while now. They have this in a bunch of different colors. They have it in white with, like, black lace right here. I believe they have it in pink, too. I love the all black. We have this beautiful satin maxi dress. If I go on my tippy toes, it's not hitting the floor, so hopefully I'll be good in heels. But I am a short queen, so this is probably the average length for a normal human being size. I love the little lace detailing. I feel like it splits up a simple maxi dress. It's low in the front and low in the back as well. I love how comfy this is. I feel like you can slip it on with sneakers or you can literally wear it to like a wedding if you wanted to. I'm totally into it. Fits me so nicely. Guys, how cute is this ribbed top? So it's just simple black ribbed. I really like the way that it lays. I like how thick the straps are. I love the length that it comes down to because you can wear it with a cute low rise pair of jeans, low rise pair of comfy pants like me. We'll get to the pants in a second. We have this little logo that says white fox here but it's giving luxury it's giving designer she's slaying so here's the front and back of the shirt i'm definitely gonna be living in this i actually love this little fit right here these might be the most comfy cute pants in the world if i could show you what a material feels like this will do it do you guys see how bouncy these are we have ribs in the pants they have an elastic waistband pockets which is huge they're so comfortable and you can make them high rise too high rise low rise whatever you feel the material is so stretchy look at this these are a win a win a win a win and then obviously I got them in cream. You know me, if I like something, I get it in every color. Also, I got a size medium because I knew if I got a size small, I wouldn't like the way they would squeeze my waist. So a medium is, and they actually fit me perfectly. Like if I got a small, there's no way I'd put these on my body. I feel like I'm always grabbing such statement pieces from White Fox. But now that it's cold, it's time for all the basics. This sweater is so cute. Look at that fit. I love a little room right here. That's my favorite kind of fit. I love the color. It's this nice gray. This is one of those sweaters that are just never gonna, this is one of those sweaters that are just never gonna go out of style. You're gonna have it in your, this is one of those sweaters that are just never gonna go out of style. You're always gonna have it in your closet. It's always gonna be handy. Okay, and next I got these yoga pants. I can't even explain to you guys how soft these are. Oh my god, it feels like another layer of skin, but better. Something that the human body just cannot create. These are awesome. These are from their activewear line. As you can see by the back, it says White Fox Active. These are a great length. They'll be perfect with my little platform boots. The waistband comes up to a great spot. I got a size small in these. Um, I'm extremely comfortable. These are awesome. Wait, stop it. Oh my god, I look like I have double D's. <laughs> Wait, guys. Oh my god, if you want your girls to have a good time. My headband came off, knocking things around. Get this shirt. I mean, ha. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my god, guys, this is 
crazy. So the back is adjustable and I would typically pull it a little bit tighter, but this is not a one person job. I love that the back is adjustable. I don't really like when I put on a corset and I have to like spin it around my body. So this is nice. I love that it looks like it's two different shirts when it's really one. I love that my girls are sitting so beautifully. Like they're actually sitting down. It gives you that corset vibe, but it's way more comfy on the top if I'm being honest. You can actually expand your rib cage because this is adjustable, so that's nice. This would be really cute with a low-rise pair of like baggy jeans and sneakers. That's what my vision is right now. Okay, and next we have this really cute moment. I thought this was really fun for fall with some knee-high boots. And actually this headband is really cute with it. It's giving very much Blair Waldorf and I love. It's tight to the bod. This actually is secure. There's this little band here to keep it up. As you can see, it's a double material here. We have mesh underneath. I just think off the shoulder is like so girly, so sexy, and so cute. Also sleeves going over the hands. Yes, yes, yes from Cook. She loves that. Now you're probably thinking, Brooke, what the f*** are you doing in a bikini? You just showed us a whole sweat set haul. Well, it's called Manifestation, and I'm trying to manifest a vacation. Plus, I saw this bikini on the website, and I was like, oh, if I don't get this right now, who knows it's gonna be there in the summer, so I need to get it right now. This little ombre moment, I'm so obsessed. I'm literally wearing sweater socks with this right now. But how cute I had to have her. She is adjustable. She has the string. I'm a string bikini girl. I feel the most confident that way. Huge slay on white foxes end, as per usual. I also got a size small in the top and bottom. That's it for my little haul. I'm gonna add this to my disaster of a closet, but hopefully by the end of this video, we will be in much better shape. Make sure to use code Brooke for 30% off until November 30th at 11.59 p.m. EDT. And then my code will revert back to 15% off, so jump on it. Happy Black Friday! Anyway, I, can't, I let my I let myself keep seven shirts and one, two, three, four, five sweatpants. And then these are all like really cute matching pajama sets. And then one, two, three, four, five pairs of shorts. That is so reasonable. Fuck yeah, I'm doing good. Oh my God, it could actually move. It could actually move. I just labeled all the bags and I'm on to the next bin. So obviously this isn't even bad guys. These are all like corsets tank tops like going out tops i do have another bin of these i literally never go into this bin one i don't know what's there so that's one of the reasons two i don't fucking wear them so i really want to get rid of like everything in here okay keep i would love to keep this i will keep it keep i love this but i've just never worn it should i keep it keep 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 i'm getting rid of this bitch i've worn it and it's done she's seen her years and that's fine i'm gonna be so mad when i need these things i'm telling you right Fucking now there's gonna be a time when i need these and i'm gonna be finished. whatever i can't remember if i was able to zip this or not i feel like i could I don't remember if this was tight enough or not. See, like, I don't know. Like, a black corset, I feel like, is an essential. I might keep that just, just for the sake of it being essential. I've never worn this, but it's so damn cute. I'm so bad at this. See, like, the pajamas was one thing. The actual clothes that I wear out. Whew, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Never worn this. Can you lower the TV, please? It's so loud. <gasps> it makes me so upset. It makes me so upset. I haven't heard silence in what feels like years. Ah, and there was a vacuum. Loving this. Loving, loving, loving this. These are all the going out shirts. Look at how much better. Those are gonna be for the summer. And then I gave a lot to the twins and Molly. Now I'm doing like bras and underwear. Why I have this many socks, I have no idea. I don't wear half of them. This is the easy stuff. Like I can easily get rid of a pair of socks. It's gonna get really hard as I go. Next task is the workout bin. I literally only wear a few pairs of leggings, sports bras, some shorts, and my Aritzia one pieces. So I really, really need to get rid of a lot of stuff because it is jam packed. Also have nowhere to put this little calendar. So for now it's on my bed. Don't even get me started on this jewelry who needs that much jewelry who 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 not me i don't even know what i have clothes are first and like accessories and shit like that it's that's another beast just had to get that out of the way so i can get you guys a good angle 
Okay, she's organized. I have leggings and one pieces, shirts and jackets, shorts, and then like short one pieces, and then sports bras. Let's, I really hope that I can actually make this last. This is why I do this every year. One, because I can't get it to stay perfect all the time, and two, because I'm just always getting new things. So in order to get those new things, I gotta get rid of stuff. But these bags are filling up. I, and I like love giving my stuff to other people. It makes me so happy. I used to love that whenever I would get hand-me-downs and like now everyone knows not to give me anything because no, I can't fit it. But like I always used to get hand-me-downs and it would make me the happiest ever. So I'm so excited that I could be like Santa Claus for someone. Honestly, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing that I started off easy, but these are all sweatshirts and denim shirts. So these are all gonna go away for the season, but I will go through them and get rid of some. If I'm being honest, I wore denim shorts like three or four times throughout the whole entire summer. So. I should be getting rid of a lot. But I'm happy that I'll have a whole open and free bin because sweaters are obviously so much bigger than summer clothes and I'm gonna need that. So this is good, 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 good. Fantastic view. Here's where things are gonna get a little bit more tricky. This section of the room. Not too bad, but we're definitely getting more towards difficult. These are just like button up dress shirts and I wore probably two of them this summer. So gotta get through them. I really want Panera. This is the best button down shirt ever from Zara. This is obviously gonna go with the summer stuff because I'm not wearing this. You spin me around so I can breathe. And if I finally die in peace. I'm feeling like I can get all this done today for some reason. I'm saying that now. Let's try to keep that energy. I don't know though. Pour out the gasoline. Do I want this? It's real cute. I've had it for years. I'm gonna keep it. I have to stop acting like that the harder this gets. Like, I'm never gonna wear this, so bye. This, I feel like I should keep this one. This one's really cute. I thrifted it in the city. It's from Brooks Brothers. I feel like I'm never gonna wear it, but I'm gonna keep it. See, like, I, I think that these are all gonna come in handy, and then I just do this over and over and over and say I'm gonna keep it, and then I never wear it, and this is my issue. What do I do? Like, I wanna feel like I actually got rid of shit after this. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. These are all so beautiful, but I don't wear them. Getting rid. I am doing this shit. I'm doing the damn thing. It's happening. I saw the fire in your eyes. This one slays, but it has shrunk on me. But it could be good for this winter, so we're gonna keep her. This shirt is so fucking cute, and I've had it for so long, and I've never worn it. So I'm gonna give it away. Giving her away. This one, I know Molly will love. And Mel. Who do I give it to? They have such similar style, it's really hard. One can get this, and then one can get that, because these are both their style. How about that? Amazing. The fact that I only have this many... Yeah, we're doing really good. I'm doing a lot of consolidating and I'm getting rid of so much Like I said, we are slowly escalating harder and harder and harder, but I'm sticking to my guns and get it Whoa, I'm getting rid of what I don't need things are getting Messy, but that's okay. It's all part of the process. This is what I call a win Here's where things get tricky. I've run out of room so I've literally been shoving clothes underneath my bed. Not in bins. Just shoving them in there because they simply do not fit. The lids are gone. Don't even know where the lids are. The issue is dresses. Dresses is a big issue for me, apparently. I have way too many of them. How fucking often am I really wearing dresses? What? 50 days out of the year? There is no reason why I need any more than that. That might even be pushing it. That's a lot of dresses. I don't even want nearly that many. Okay. I'm not even up to this yet. I just need to get them out of the way so I can get one of the other bins out that I didn't go through yet. But we're almost done. We have three more bins underneath the bed. I think I'll tackle that dresser next. The closet. I don't know if I'll get to it tonight. Another win. Two empty bins. What will I do with all this space? Fill it up with more clothes and then do this again next year. Oh, that's so cute. What the fuck? I'm contemplating everything right now. It's time. It is time. Also, this room spray smells like hotels. And I'm obsessed. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed. Alright, it's time for dresses. I just found the lid under my bed. Are you serious? Oh, now it's not gonna close. This is just gonna be a lot. Okay. This is what it looks like, just with no lid. I think I shrunk this dress, but otherwise it's really a good one. This is so damn cute. I'm never gonna wear this dress again, but it was pretty iconic. A or am I? I don't know. I'm gonna give it away. Whew, okay, so this is all going. And then if you can differentiate these piles, like right there, this is for the summer. It's kind of a lot. I might go through this one again, but look, it's 
actually gonna close. The hole underneath of the bed is complete. I have two empty bins under there, which I'm just so happy about. Now we need to do this dresser, which is so overdue, I can't even express to you. So I'm gonna put the things I wanna keep here. This draw is so that's the only word I could use. This hasn't opened and closed in so long. Next is this beast. It's literally just t-shirts, guys. Before... This is a win, to say the least. On to the next beast. Oh! I have something to admit. One denim draw. More denim on the floor. Two, three, four, five denim draws. Absolutely not. That's changing today. I went through this phase of like jeans being the only thing that took up my mind. I was obsessed with jeans and I still am, but I actually wear maybe five on rotation. So to have five draws, no, no, no. I'm making such progress. I am starting to crash a little bit. Okay guys, I have three full garbage bags. I need to eat something. So I'm gonna take a dinner break and dare I say, through the closet. I just like don't want to do it tomorrow, you know? I'll see how I feel after I eat. No, because this is me for the last two hours. I'm gonna consider myself done for the day. I'm actually exhausted. I don't know when I started. Probably like, if I had to guess, 12 o'clock. And I finished at six. So I just ran around my room 300 times for six hours. I'm really happy that I'm getting this done though. Like really, really, really happy. I didn't show you guys, but I did all my jeans and I have two open drawers. And then I have two open bins under my bed. This is everything. The last task for clothing is the closet. And I'll do that tomorrow. I don't have any more words for today. Good night. Good morning, everyone. I woke up stressed out, which has been happening so much recently. And I don't like it. I also feel like my memory is completely shot. And I would love to do something about that. So let me know what the f*** I should do for that. I've been using these tea tree travel pads. You can use them day and night. Apparently they're supposed to help with acne. And honestly, I think it is helping. And then I love this good old vitamin C serum. It makes me glow. These eye patches, amazing. And they're gorgeous. They're made with 24 karat gold. Look at them. <gasps> but wait till you see them on, they glow. Let's get to work. Oh my god. I didn't even eat breakfast. We're getting after this. This is so embarrassing. I feel like we should start at the top. So we're gonna start off with hoodies. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.40 a.m. I have to leave at 10.45 to go get my nails done. So I'll do what I can for now. Also, I get so aggressively, irrationally angry when I'm putting my hoodies up there because they just avalanche onto my head and I get so frustrated. Obviously, a keep. My hoodie collab with Corrupted Closet. The best hoodie in the entire world. You absolutely need it. We measured every single part of this hoodie. It's exactly how I wanted it to fit. And it's the most perfect fit in the world. You just have to try it for yourself. You can go shop. The issue here is I'm going to keep every hoodie. Honestly, every single one of my hoodies are Corrupted Closet and White Fox at this point. There's so many. The Salt and Stone Deodorant flames. These hoodies on the bottom haven't been touched in ages. I really want to try and get rid of like half of these because what who in their right mind can wear this many hoodies? I wear the same four. It's the same thing with the jeans. I'm upset to say I didn't do much damage here, but at least they're folded up there. This is how much I'm getting rid of, which is still a lot, honestly, guys. That's still a lot. So I'll be fine. Kind of want to give this one to Richie because I feel like he would like it. Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.06 a.m. I don't really think I want to get into the rest right now because if I do, it will be a whole chunk of my day.